I'm Ed Buckler. I'm a USDA ARS research geneticist and I'm also a professor at Cornell University. I'm Jason Wallace. My name is Cinta Romay. My name is Kelly Swartz. My name is Alberto Romero. I'm Carl Kremling. When I get the data back and look at it and see something I wasn't expecting. And you're sure you made your analysis right and you look at the results and you're, wow, what's going on here? We have to be creative and come up with a new way to try to you know, analyze the data. I really like to get out and actually touch the plants and see the plants. Asking questions and getting the answers. Knowing that pretty rapidly actually what we're, what we're figuring out will be applied. Why would you not want to use your curiosity and just explore what's out there? Starting with my biology professor just at the high school. She was the one that teach me about genetics. And I realized, ah, I can learn how to program life. Discovering that the, the genome between almost any living organism is made of the same thing, it's made of DNA. I've always been interested in, in plants uh, and also in people. It's the kind of work, the kind of work that has an impact on people's lives that you can actually point to and say, people are better for what I have done. making food more available to more people in the world. With better genetics, we should be able to make a crop that would be much more efficient. To better human society. Plus, I think I'm doing something meaningful. There's a varieties of maize that grow all over the world that people have adapted to their local environment over the last 10,000 years. By preserving that biodiversity and then using these advanced genetic tools we have, we can move that diversity around so that we can have a crop that's highly productive. In China, or in Mexico, in Sub-Saharan Africa. This past summer I had field plots in, in southern Arizona. I've gone down to uh, the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center in Mexico. I've also visited locations in Kenya and in India. Sweden, or uh, I'm going to China. Uh, Indiana. I'm oftentimes out in the field helping with the corn plants. So you get up early in the morning, go out to um, pollinate the corn. You get your data from the field and you need to analyze it. It involves a lot of programming, a lot of reading. Biology and genetics is where big data comes uh, together with some really important societal questions. We want to know what every single gene, every single DNA element, and every single thing in the genome is doing. Gonna help to feed the world. We may be able to breed a crop at 15 times the rate that we've been able to do in the past. <laughs>